The story of data formats is honestly very interesting. Every few years we see a new format rise because our needs change. Before we get into all JSON versus Toon, let us just take a look at the brief history of configuration formats over the period of time. In the beginning, we had simple INI files. They handled basic configuration and that was one of the earliest way to store the configuration settings. It was simple and direct. It contains just a key value pairs grouped into sections. And they are still very common in Windows system because they follow a very no-nonsense approach. Then came XML, which was extensible markup language. It brought proper structure, validation, and it supported deep hierarchies. For a long time, XML was backbone of early web services, SOAP APIs, and big document systems. But XML had one big problem. It was too verbose. There are too many tags and too many rules. Its strictness made XML powerful, and at the same time, it made painful for the developers. Then came JSON, which was JavaScript object notation. It is lightweight, it is easy to read by people, and it is easy to understand by machine as well. JSON hit a perfect balance. It had structure, but it was not too much. It was simple, but still powerful. Very quickly, JSON became the standard for API and data exchange. It basically became the universal language of web data. But as system grew, developers wanted something even more readable. That's when YAML arrived. YAML used indentation and very little punctuation. It felt almost like natural writing. It quickly became a go-to format for configuration files and CI-CD pipelines. But YAML had its own issues. It was great for humans, but not always great for machines. One wrong space and everything broke. Indentation errors and weird parsing quakes. These became common pain points for the developers. Alright, now that we have understood all the popular configuration formats, let's talk about the real question. What is the problem with JSON when it comes to LLM communication? And how does Toon fix it? JSON was designed for web, not for AI models. For LLMs, JSON has three major big issues. First one is JSON is too verbose because there are too many braces, quotes, and commas. For instance, in this JSON, all these braces, quotes, commas, and new lines act as a separate token. In case of LLMs, every additional token result in extra cost and slower responses. The second issue is repetitive field names in JSON. So every field name is repeated again and again. For example, in this JSON, the key names are getting repeated again Again and again. LLM don't need this repetition, but JSON forces it. This is also results in unnecessary extra tokens. The third issue is JSON is not model friendly. So LLM read text the way we read paragraphs. JSON structures with nested braces is not natural for LLMs. Models often hallucinate if you are missing a comma or a bracket. A single mistake can break the whole format. So while the JSON is great for APIs, it is not so great for token efficient AI communication. AI models don't just read text, they process it token by token. And in LLMs, every character matters. More tokens means more cost, more latency and slower performance. This is where Toon changes the game. Don't get confused with the Toon Disney. It is token oriented object notation. Toon is designed with one goal, minimize tokens without losing the structure. It is a format made specifically for LLMs. This is how a typical multi-object JSON can be represented in Toon structure. In this, we can clearly see Toon has removed all the unnecessary punctuations, including braces, quotes, and repeated field names. These were the main issues with JSON, which we had just discussed. This instantly cuts down the token count and results in lesser cost and faster processing. Not only this, Toon packs the data tightly. In this, there is just one definition like this, user of size 2 and name of the fields. And the remaining part is the data without any repetition. Toon also matches how LLM thinks. LLM understand lists. They also understand patterns. Toon uses simple patterns that model follow easily. So there is no confusion, no missing commas, and definitely no hallucination due to the missing brackets. 
All of this result in fewer tokens, which means faster inference, less hallucination, and most importantly, lower cost. Now let us check the official GitHub repository for Tune. Here you can see in the workflow, in our backend services, we will keep using JSON for all the processing. But just before sending it to an LLM, we will encode that JSON to Tune format. This will result in 30 to 60 percent of less tokens. Here you can see Tune is production ready, but still development is in progress. That means you can use it in production applications, but still can expect changes in the upcoming releases. The key features mentioned here are obviously the token efficiency. Also, it is LLM friendly with minimal syntax. It has indentation based structure just like YAML and also tabular arrays where we declare the keys only once and remaining part is data. Now everyone will tell you when to use Tune, but it becomes more important to understand when not to use Tune. Tune works best when you have clean uniform array of objects, but in some cases other formats are better. If your data is deeply nested or not uniform, then Tune is not ideal. In such cases, JSON Compact usually gives you fewer tokens. If your data is semi-uniform, the token saving with Tune goes down. In these cases, using JSON might make more sense, especially if your system is already using it. For pure table-like data, CSV is the smallest format. Tune is a little bigger because it adds headers and structure. But this small extra cost may help LLMs read the data more reliably. Here below you can also check the benchmarks where performance and tokens are compared for the different formats. And clearly we can see Tune is the winner in AI centric format. JSON was perfect for web era, but Tune is built for AI era. A world where token efficiency is everything, structure must be simple and data format must work with LLM. And that is why we believe Tune might become the new standard for generative AI communication. What do you think about Tune? Will it replace JSON for LLM workflows or it is just another format that will fade away or it can be used in conjunction with the JSON? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I would love to see the different viewpoints. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure you like the video, share it and subscribe for more deep dive videos. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, let's keep learning.